Hey, this is Max at 343 Labs. We're a music production school based in New York City, Berlin, and online. And today, I'd like to show you a clip by one of our instructors, John Selway, which is taken from 343 TV, which is right here on our channel several days per week. Now, if you want to watch the full stream, head over to studio.343labs.com, link in the description, which is our new producer hub where you can meet other producers, get free content, collaborate, and get feedback on your music. Enjoy the clip. Yesterday, Abe had his, he did some techno on his stream, which is totally cool, and he was using a, a particular plugin. The name just went out of my brain right now, maybe one of you guys were watching yesterday, and it's designed to do like rumble with the kick, you know, and it's like a chain of effects, and there's reverb, and you have specific controls, and it's the kind of thing that I would build myself in, uh, in Ableton Live with a rack. Anyway, so we were talking about like how do you, he was like, he was putting reverb on his kick drum to get the rumble. I'm like, you know, there's other ways to do that. And so uh, this is where this came from. It's just, you know, a bunch of random notes playing, a, you know, this is just a sine wave. And um, if, any of, if, if any of you guys have been around from back of the Dubspot days, I did a, a couple of techno fundamental videos for Dubspot. And one of the things I did was playing a bunch of random notes without really caring what it was and then use, and then quantizing that and then using that to create a bass line. And this is kind of exactly the same thing you can see here is it's just a bunch of notes down in a really low octave. And I don't care what notes they are. It was more just like playing around and then quant I quantized it and I lengthened the notes a little bit. And then I just found a, a two beats of that. The loop is just two quarter notes long just to get the rumble that I want. I'm gonna duplicate that. So it was just a little bit of this, like. And it's all dirty and noisy and weird because it's going through distortion. But we, I was going more for the rumble, right? So I didn't pick any of the ones where it has the high notes. Let's go back to the one that I liked. If you guys, if by the way, if you're listening on like small speakers or your laptop, you're not hearing any of this. They're just gonna hear a little like dirt. You need to have good speakers or headphones to hear this bass right now. That's what it sounds like without all the distortion. And I added a little bit of overtones, you know, adding, you know, this is an FM synth, so I'm just using one of the waveforms to add a little bit more harmonics to it just to make it fatter. But then, I wanted like catastrophic rumble. So that's what the distortion is there for. I'm already messing it up. You should hear it banging in here, it's crazy. All right, so we got some questions about this. Low single sine wave and operator. Yeah, it's it's a single sine wave, but I'm playing multiple notes. I mean, here I'm going to show you. <laughs> I'm going to show you literally what I did to play this. All right, let's just solo this. You should see my hands. I'm just like. All right, and <laughs> and then I recorded all that. Um, probably I don't need those high notes, but it's just a bunch. It's a mess. Totally random. And you don't have to quantize it. Maybe you want to be a little weird, but I'm going to make the loop. Let's make the loop like one quarter note, for example, and see what happens with a kick drum. All right. That's too high. I got to go down. I might like move the start point around to get different pulsations, kind of change where the accent is. Let's make that two beats. All right, now that's not a rumble, but that was me doing some high notes kind of randomly. That sounds crazy. Mm -hmm. 
Gunther's asking about the kick drum. I was going to get to the kick drum. I'm not 100% sold on the kick drum for this. I was being kind of quick and dirty about it. There's two kick drums. There's a real short knock, which is mostly what you're hearing. And then there's also a, a dirty... Yeah, the, the kick drum's not a big, boomy kick. It's like a punch. And most of the bass is coming from the rumble. That sounds pretty tight like that. And then I have a second kick that's a little brighter and a little sharper. Anyway, so that's how we did it. Let me go back to this weird one that I just... All right, those are too high. Let's bring them down. And, you know, there's also... I'm. There's all sorts of rules being broken here, like multiple sine waves playing uh, chromatically and just stacked all at once. It's going to be phasey. It's going to be weird. But I want that. I want it to be like rough and dirty and strange. And I'm, then I'm going to you know, get the vibe that I want and then punch it up with effects, which is what's, what's happening here. And also, both the kick and the bass are going through this drum bus, which is like, let's, let's hear it without that. It's flabby without that. So you have to have this to get that feeling of everything's kind of th thick and crunched up together and sounding like it's about to break. There's a lot of energy, barely contained energy in there. And then that was just like one little spot of this. Oh, I like this. What? <laughs> oh, be careful with your lengths. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. I'm getting excited. I'm knocking my mic around. And like where the start point is makes a big difference. So who needs, who needs a reverb for, for rumble? This is, I'm making a rumble by just putting a bunch of low frequency sine waves together and playing with them. And you can hear, if you've got good speakers or good headphones, you can hear as I change this position around, it's changing the phase of the low frequencies from this rumble thing and the kick and sometimes it sounds thinner and sometimes it sounds fatter and that's the kind of thing you got to be careful about when you do something like this because you might end up making something hollow you don't want hollow right that sounds like triplets or six eight or something da, 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 da. all right let's go back to the one that i settled on earlier yeah that's more tight and rumbly there's probably fewer notes going on at the same time as well. And if and you know, you can also put reverb on this too if you want more of a whooshy thing. I mean, I have a reverb just on the on the kick drums. For some space. And then for the arrangement for fooling around, I put a high pass filter that I can bring in and out for different sections. All right, so that was the first step. Doing this kind of, you know, alternative technique for a rumble, like rolling kind of subby rumble bass for a hard techno track that does not rely only on reverb, which I like. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you want to watch the full stream, head over to studio.343labs.com, link in the description below. And that is our new producer hub where you can find free content, collaborate with other musicians, get feedback on your music, and just meet a community of like-minded artists and producers. See you next time.